DRS is the oldest and the largest built environment specific dispute resolution service provider in the world. So we make about 7,000 appointments a year at the moment in 17 different countries of arbitrators, adjudicators, mediators, experts, dispute boards and bespoke conflict avoidance panel members. So that, that's what we do in essence. I think the things that we're looking at today, um, and in particular in the South African context, was where we saw, for instance, adjudication going in, in the construction world, because uh, the adjudication regulations were supposed to introduce statutory adjudication in South Africa. Um, they now appear to have been put on hold as various challenges go on to the constitutionality of it. Um, but we are, on the other hand, seeing quite a rise in contractual adjudication in the construction sector. So we were looking at that, and in particular, we were looking at how important it is to create a pool of well-trained, competent adjudicators in South Africa who can actually do the adjudication function properly. And you know, we were talking about, for instance, RICS is launching uh, adjudication training uh, specifically for this, with this in mind next year. Um, we were also looking at how the role of mediation has changed, particularly in the built environment, and how it's moved away from being the quite sort of soft facilitative model of mediation that was there before to a much harder, uh, pragmatic, evaluative, um, expert-driven mediation which is really designed for the built environment. Uh, so we talked about that. We were also looking, especially with regard to infrastructure um, projects and big um, construction projects, the importance of putting early conflict avoidance mechanisms in place which, which serve um, to create a formal structure by which where either the client or one of the contractors identifies an issue which has the potential to grow into a dispute, that there is then a conflict avoidance mechanism in place which nips it in the bud, makes a recommendation, allows the parties to get on with the contract and um, to save the costs and the delays that go with taking a matter to an arbitration report. So in essence those are the three major points that we talked about. On the surface, there's a hold because the, uh, a challenge has been made to whether the piece of legislation under which the Minister is proposing to bring out regulations actually is wide enough to allow the Minister to bring out the regulations. So it's a constitutional challenge and it's a legal point about secondary as opposed to primary legislation. Uh, I suspect that behind this is a concern on the part of government and on big organisations like ESCOM and um, SANREL and maybe Department of Public Works even, although I'm not sure, that, you know, if adjudication is brought in and suddenly you have all these awards being made for payment immediately, that they are going to find difficulties arising out of that. And I think there might just be some concerns coming out of those organisations about whether this ought to be brought in in its present form right now. And so we, we're seeing a little bit of, of, of the brakes being put on the process. And I think this constitutional challenge may be the mechanism that is being used to put the brakes on. But my hope is that it's a temporary delay. Um, I think South Africa will follow the rest of the world in introducing adjudication. Um, quite whether there's going to be some adjustments to the regulations as they stand at the moment, I think, remains to be seen. It's, it's currently used in the UK, Australia, Singapore and Hong Kong. So the UK model allows any matter relating to construction to be brought into adjudication, whereas the Australian model only pertains to claims for payment. And in both jurisdictions, they have been, they, they work well. Um, the UK one is particularly successful, I think. The, the quality of the adjudicators is such that a very, very few adjudication decisions are ever then challenged in court or in arbitration. So what you've seen in the construction sector, for instance, is whereas prior to the adjudication legislation coming in, arbitration was used widely in the construction sector, since adjudication has come in, arbitration has almost completely dried up in the construction sector because the need has been fulfilled by the, the adjudication process.